This ought to be good. Ooh, Justin, I'm visiting you from the spirit place to tell you about World Anvil. How do you keep getting in the house? World Anvil is a set of world building tools that allows you to create, store, and organize your world. Can you create an entire network of wiki-like articles and then cross-reference them? All of those things and more. Spooky. How'd you die? I was, uh... It was scary. Not as scary as whatever this is. You can make family trees, historical timelines, interactive maps. Plus, they have random generators and world-building prompts. Do you think that I think you're a ghost? World Anvil supports over 30 different RPG systems, and its organizational capability doubles as a novel writing software. Get out of here. Design your world and showcase your creations. Go to worldanvil.com and use the promo code MANSHORTS for 40% off any of the annual memberships. And shorts. Okay, not exactly the character choices I anticipated, but here we are. Hey, I don't know why you're looking at me, dude. Velma's my favorite Scooby-Doo character. What's your excuse? Uh, Shaggy is S-tier. Ever heard of memes? Well, I only picked Fred because I figured one of you would be Daphne. Yeah, looks like you'll have to hit on me. Thanks for that. I'm not gonna pass up a chance to hang out with my little buddy. The mystery machine pulls up in front of an old lighthouse. You've been hired to investigate a series of strange happenings. Ooh, what kind of strange happenings? Things keep going missing, notably people. According to the owner, the last three sets of lighthouse keepers have gone missing. The police have no leads. Check your maps and make a plan. Well, naturally, I think we should split up. Daphne and I will go check out the lantern room. Friendly reminder, she has a black belt in karate. Hey, does this lighthouse have, like, a kitchen? There's a kitchen in the main house, yes, but that's not what we're- Don't worry, we'll, like, scream if we see a ghost. It's weird to rely on you for party progression, but what do you want to do? I'll start in the storage room. I'm sure I can find a few clues there. Okay, while Shaggy and Scooby look for food, the two of you enter the lighthouse and begin the ascent up the spiral staircase. Give me perception checks. Five. Eight. <gasps> I heard something. That's just the beating of my heart. I'm serious, Fred. It was awful. It's okay, Daphne. It's probably just the wind. Or, you know, the lighthouse settling. What are you doing over there? What? Are you going to participate in this session? Whoa. Like, chill. I got a 15 to search for Scooby Snacks. You find a box of Scooby Snacks on a high shelf. And as you grab it, give me a deck save. Nine. A book falls and hits you on the head. Take two bludgeoning damage. Like, ow. And like, who's Frank Herbert? Lance, we've reached the storage room. Also, it started raining. All right, meet me back here when you've checked out the tower. Got it. Let's go. Daphne is now frightened but she goes with you anyway. Lance, as you enter the storage room, give me an investigation check. 29. How? I'm Velma. <laughs> what a nerd. You know, Fred, if you spent a little bit more time investigating and a little bit less time preying on Daphne, you might actually be able to help whoa, us with- Whoa, whoa. I'm not preying on anyone. Daphne's free to go wherever she wants. She just feels safer with me. That's not true, Velma. I'd be much happier with you. Hey. You guys can't talk to each other. That's like metagaming. He's right. Daphne's on her own now. Anyway, with such a high check, you notice from across the room a corner of paper sticking out from behind a cork board. I'll walk over to it and see what it is. When you remove the paper, you discover that it's actually a photograph of Sarah. Like Sarah? Well, Shaggy. On the back of the photo are the words Kwisatz Haderach. Kawasaki who? You also notice that in the corner of the room is a large pile of what looks like sand. Sand? Wh why would there be sand in a lighthouse? I should go investigate. As you approach, give me a perception check. Seven. You detect a faint smell of burnt cinnamon. What is going on? All of a sudden, just as you reach the watch room, lightning strikes and the power goes out. Daphne screams. I'm grabbing her. Oh. Give me a charisma check. 
19. Oh, Fred, thanks for protecting me. You're so brave. Ha, <laughs> Daphne, it's nothing to worry about. It's just a little thunderstorm. Lance, when the lights go out, you trip over a small rug and fall headfirst into the pile of sand, which is now a bright blue. I can't see a thing without my glasses. Hey, did you hear that? The power went out. Hey, man. Like, who turned out the lights? A few moments later, the backup generator activates and the lights are on again. And oddly enough, it stopped raining. <sighs> what did I tell you, Daph? There's nothing to worry about when you're with Fred Jones. Fred! Look out! What now? She's pointing at two large creatures that are rushing up the staircase toward you. They look like saber-toothed tigers with bigger ears. I don't have a trap for this. Could I grab Daphne and make it up the ladder in one round? If you make the checks, sure. Give me a strength check to grab her and an athletics to get up the ladder. 17 on strength and 21 on athletics. What's up with the advantage? Oh. I get advantage on any checks that involve saving Daphne. Okay. You successfully make it up the ladder. Hey, if it stopped raining, can we, like, go outside? Go for it. You want to go outside? Let's go outside. Lance, as the spice flows through you, you discover that you no longer need your glasses, for you've been granted a different kind of vision. Jinkies! An unknown force is calling for you to seek out Shaggy, who is outside playing a game. With Scooby, I guess. Fred, you saved my life. Jeepers, I thought we were goners. I got a 22 to lean in for a kiss. Oh, so you did. And Daphne appears just as eager as you. But just before your lips touch, a giant sandworm explodes out of the beach. Okay. Let's do this. Whoa. How did you get in here so fast? I know everything that's going to happen all the time. 24 to initiative. Uh, okay. Well, as you see the sandworm explode out of the ground, you also see that Velma is rushing toward you. Shaggy, you have to save us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I already know that. Can I just do my thing? <sighs> Go ahead. I got an 18 to mount it and a 30 to handle animal. I should have known this would happen. Then... I'll steer it into the ocean, where it will surely die. Well, Sarah swoops in and steals another last-minute victory. <sighs> Tell me about it. I was this close to sealing the deal. So, what was that kiwi horseradish thing? Kwisatz Haderach. It's from Dune. He's basically Dr. Manhattan. <laughs> Scoopy Dune. Aren't you worried you got something wrong about the lore? I'm sure the internet will correct me. Hold on. You're telling me that Shaggy from Scooby-Doo is the Kwisatz Haderach? Mm-hmm. He's the Highlander, too, apparently. Like, zoinks? So there's no masked villain? All the Dune stuff was real? Technically speaking, the land that the lighthouse is on is prone to temporal rifts, which is actually a pretty good segue into what we're playing next week. Gee whiz. What was that? That was a burp. Was it? Yeah. I'm a, I'm a human dog, not a prop. <gasps> I heard something. Daphne and I. Daphne and I. An unknown... Mm. Well, naturally, I think we should go... Well, somewhere. I don't know. Shaggy. You have to save us. <laughs> Shit's creepy. Well, as you see the sandworm explode out of the sand... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I already know that. Sorry. I forgot the line. I'm sorry. You detect a smain... <laughs> you detect a smain spell. Did it move at all? No. <laughs> it's like glued to your head. <laughs> Daphne's on her own now. Anyway, with such a high check, you notice a small corner of paper sticking out from behind a cork board on the far wall. What the hell am I doing <laughs> at 4 a.m.? Just like, I, I, I'll, I'll be able to say all this. Dice, minis, maps, snacks, notes, towers, books, stacks. Last year was a big fat bummer. We got to have a NARP summer. 2020 was a nightmare. Everyone discovered Mother Nature doesn't fight fair. People talk about the economy and healthcare. Me, I've been building a barbarian rare bear. Where my PC's at? Now playing online's alright, but there's nothing better than them bi-weekly nights Getting together with your friends on a mutual mission To try and obliterate any enemies in your vision, yeah that's real nice 